Well, it was, it was fairly early because I must have been five or six, something like that. It was very early on. And I don't know what, there was something that the guys didn't like. And dad was driving down the road and they kept getting in the way and he would honk, you know, get out of the way, I want to go. And they would just get more and more. And so finally dad got out of the car to persuade them not to get in his way. He had to go somewhere. And they had these big bamboo sticks and they started beating up on him. And they got one of his ears hanging down loose. And my mother and we two little kids were in the back and mother was scared out of her word. She didn't know what to do. So it was really kind of funny. The minute she stepped out of the car, they dropped their sticks and fled. What caused it, we have no idea. And this is when I told you about the magistrate that had helped us. This is when dad first met him because somebody went to the magistrate and told him what had happened. And he worked it out so dad could get himself. But his ear was flopped. He had this big... So there are all kinds of things like that. And, and during the... During the Gandhi Rebellion, we had some real problems. The, um, the Gandhi guys threatened to kill all the girls in the school. And we had one of these big buildings that had a flat roof, and then it had parapets around it, so, you know, about two, three feet high. So you could go up on the roof and sleep or whatever. And my dad told him, he said, you know, I'm, I'm in charge of these Indian girls, and it's my job to protect them. And I'm going to, if you come here and try these tricks, I'm going to take them all up on top of the roof and I've got a gun and I've got, I've forgotten how many bullets and I'm going to keep shooting until all the bullets are gone, but I'm not going to let you kill my girls. They never came. Left us strictly alone. We never had any trouble with them after that. He said, sometimes you have to make ugly threats even if you're a missionary. But no, we, we were very fortunate in many ways because a lot of times when things went wrong, our own local people try to protect us. They appreciated what we'd done enough, so they try to protect us, which is most unusual. <laughs>